What is the value of a product review on Amazon? And what can you do with these thousands of reviews sitting on your listings? My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. And in this video, I'm going to walk through how to use AI to analyze your reviews. So here's one of my own listings. I've got 1,200 reviews smack dab right here. Nice little 4.4 star average rating review. Don't want to hit that 4.3. Then it'll round down potentially. Uh, looking pretty good overall. And as you can see, lots of optimized listing images looking pretty good. I got rid of those bad male images from our video from a couple weeks ago, and I replaced them with some beautiful women. Nobody wanted to look at a man's armpit. Who would have known? I didn't. I left it on there for a year in my listing. All right, so if we go to the ratings here, we can see lots of product images, lots of reviews, a lot of people writing all kinds of different things. So this is a tool, I just became aware of it, it's called Genie Reviews. And what I do is I just basically grab the ASIN right there, type it in here, and hit Run Report. Takes about three minutes to run, and once it's finished, we'll spit this out. What's cool is you got the Share Report button, so after you've figured something out as cool with this thing, you can then share it with your team and say, hey, go work on this. Use this data and act accordingly. You get some product insights, overall estimation about the products. You know, hey, customers had a mixed review about the moisturizing cold partisan artisan soaps. Mixed reviews, I got 4.4. I don't know if I would agree with that particular language, but all right, let's keep going. Love the unique scents and eco-friendly natural ingredients. I got that going for me. Looking good so far. Overpowering scents. Hmm, interesting. I have seen that negative review feedback quite a bit. And if we go analyze the one and two star reviews, that's probably what we're gonna see. Smelly smells, bad smell. One person says no smell, everybody else says too much smell, whatever, you can't please them all. Uh, dry skin, zero smell. So lots of people are like overpowering or no smell and nowhere in between, I don't understand. Some people's noses just aren't working. I think it might be the, related to COVID taking out people's scents. Uh, what do you do as a business owner? But in any case, my takeaway from reading some of this is I get a bunch of like what people don't like, what people do like. So they like the fact we've got lots of different scents, unique natural ingredients, cleansing, refreshing. Uh, and you get the hit rate for like how popular each of these are. So overpowering scents. Well, if I'm going to just take just these two paragraph sections right here and then tell my designer what to do, I'm probably going to zero in right here on overpowering scents. Here's what I would do. I would go back to the main image stack and look at a way to emphasize how powerful the scents are. So take an image like this, cold press artisan soap, fruity scent, and maybe what I would do with this is probably um, talk up how powerful the scents are by, by using the language that customers have described my own product. So overpowering sense. Probably don't want to use the word overpowering, but we probably want to use the word powering and unique. So unique, powerful, refreshing sense is probably what I would do to this image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this image. I'm going to go over to my Slack channel and say, hey, designer, let's redo this image header and do just that. The other thing that the AI software picked up on was the natural ingredients. Well, look here, all natural ingredients and a lot of hyper focus on that. So I'm really covered there. I probably don't need to make any edits with that. I'm not going to touch this, the headache or dry skin because there's probably nothing I can do about that. Um, packaging, packaging could be improved. Nah, probably nothing I can do with that. Unique, cleansing, maybe, maybe a little bit on cleansing. Not so sure on that. All right, so we've checked out some of those features, got an immediate action item, going to update a graphic. And if you come back in a week or so, you'll probably see my graphic was already changed. Next thing we can look at five product features that could be improved are strength of scents, moisturizing properties, variety of scents, packaging, size of soap bars. Too small, man, these things are gigantic. I don't know about that. So I wouldn't necessarily say learn anything from the feature idea underserved audiences with special requirements. Men who are looking for natural and eco-friendly soap options with unique scents. So this right there was the number one reason why I launched into this category is because I saw that as an opportunity. So this absolutely picked up on it. The consumers are raving fans from that angle. 
however, nobody wanted to see smelly armpits for men, so I'm back to putting women shots there. Men may be attracted to more masculine scents, such as sandalwood or cedarwood. That's really cool. Good to know. Uh, we did pick up on that. I would say, let's see, which of our listings focuses on that one? Right, this one right there. So we've got Nog Champa, Cedarwood, uh, and Sandalwood right there. Focus in on that. So we've already created the, the kind of the parentage or the packaging uh, for that. Dry skin customers may prefer soaps with added moisturizing ingredients such as shea butter or coconut oil. So that's an interesting a- angle. Maybe I need to make a new soap. Uh, that has both of those ingredients. It also gives the idea to customize for gift sets or special occasions. I'm definitely not going to do that. I'm, I'm very centric on gift giving, um, but I, I actually really like the fact that my soaps are not occasion specific. Uh, all right, new variation idea. Variety packs with customer adored scents. So we did that as well. Uh, we created a lot of different scents for the soap. So you can see like, wow, we've really gone the gauntlet. We even created new packaging versus the old here. So it took advantage of that already. So that's good. Larger bar, definitely not going to do that. These things are gigantic. Unscented, that would defeat the whole purpose. So I'm going to pass on that. So sometimes you need 10 bad ideas to find the one good one. That's totally fine. I'm good with that. Soap and lotion sets, you betcha. We have done that. I've got some mom boxes. There you go. There's some soap and lotion sets even with similar candles. I might have a candle product, not sure. Soap and natural loofah sets. Maybe, okay, loofah. Haven't actually seen loofah sets sell well, but maybe they do. Creative idea to make your product stand out. Customizable, biodegradable, added vitamins and nutrients. We got that covered pretty hardcore. Molds and unique shapes. All right, so it gives us some ideas on like what we could do with our product. I like that. So that was the product insights. Let's go to marketing and listing. All right, this might still be processing. We'll hit pause. Ah, oh, they want me to upgrade to see the rest of that. So I can't demo that for now. I'll, I'll ask the owner if he'll give me a free one so we could demo that for you guys. We'll do that in our next video. So tell me what you guys think. You get some cool product insights to tell you about the product. You might find some value in it. Let me know what you think. Any other AI tools I should check out? Man, there's like 100 out there right now. Um, I even have one. If you go to myamazonguy.com, and you look at uh, the AI tool that we call Mag AI or Magi, you could ask it literally any Amazon question. How do I grow my sales on Amazon? You could ask it 10 PPC tips, 10 SEO tips. How do I do this? How do I do that? Check it out over at myamazonguy.com and post your results. Let me know what you guys think. Look at it do its work. How do I grow my sales, optimize your product listings, improve the product images, build a product review base, Amazon advertising, competitive pricing, Are these things I talk about? Absolutely. And you can join our AMAs every week. We have AMAs on Tuesdays with PPC, Wednesdays for Ace and Review Live with John Aspinall, and on Fridays, Jason Mastropateo, asking any question you want. Or go check it out. Check our MAG AI tool out here. Thanks for watching.